Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. My name is Nana, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing some more Sims for Seasons. It's supposed to go up on Tuesday, but I was having a bad day and I didn't feel like recording, so therefore, no video on Tuesday. Instead, today is what day is it today? Thursday. Today is Thursday. Oh, I forgot two days of recording. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oops. All right, one video this week. I promise I'll be better next week. Fest has arrived. Cassie is currently sleeping, but she's honestly not planning on doing anything special. Everyone has someone to celebrate it with besides Cassie. I don't know what our ex is doing, what, you know, Norris is doing. I don't know what mm, Salem is doing. All I know is that we are, are alone for Christmas. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. I seem to be fine. As long as I don't really think about it, I guess it doesn't really bother me. But usually what happens is when you have a moment to sit down and think, your, your feelings and your thoughts come crashing in. That's when it hits you that you're like alone and all sad. I want to tend my garden a little bit and get rid of it. You're gonna be like, why are you getting rid of your garden? I'm gonna take a cutting from all of the plants and that is going to be my uh, remembrance of <laughs> this plant and this um, little garden setup. I really need to utilize this room perhaps for something else. I don't yet know what I'm going to use it for. I'm staying here forever so eventually I want to move into the house that I showed you guys but for now I don't really have a choice of you know staying here moving whatever i am kind of forced to stay in one place and um make the best of the space that i have and honestly i don't really like this little area in my house i mean i don't really like every area of my house anyway i like the bedroom and i like this little corner i i feel like everything is cramped because she has a lot of hobbies and a lot of things she has to do and we're trying to like fit it in all these rooms and all the rooms are already preoccupied so like what am i gonna do right what are we gonna do don't be shy computer's like oh, what oh, what oh, what taking my sweet time rid of the plants first and foremost i know i could just keep them but it's much more fun to just kind of start over i took you know i took um what i could take i took what i could take and um i can leave it at that okay exactly why can we not leave this one <laughs> excuse me can i please can I please? Uh, can we delete it now? I'm. Oh, never mind. It's gone. I do some redecorating here. So, Christmas tree can go in the corner because that's what you do with a Christmas tree. And then there is the gifts over there. Then I think I want Tumble to go back in his place. He used to be here. And maybe here? Maybe in the room over here? Maybe? Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put him back here. That's where he used to be anyway. I'm kind of like trying to get some more organization in here. And then I don't know about this table, I guess. I mean, when? Okay, okay. Just thought that when we're gonna invite over the children, mm, we need a bigger table. So can I, can I actually like afford, I can't afford a bigger table. So let's get that one. I kind of, I kind of like this one. So we'll just move the chairs from one to another and get some more there we go so obviously this apartment is not perfect it's far from perfect but i think it has some charm to it don't you think so i, I don't know i feel like maybe i need to decorate this a little less there we go. Okay, I think that looks a little nicer. And then we have our paintings. Maybe another one of these would be nice. I, I know... I was going to say Mother Nature, but that's what's going to happen. I know Father Christmas is... Like, it can come. And I think it comes out of a chimney or out of the fireplace. So... I, I think I might just pop up a fake one just for the, you know, just so he can come out of it and we can actually see him. Um, as much as we're not really celebrating it, because like I said, she's alone, she's not really celebrating it. I think that I do want to experience some parts of it. So I think it'll be fun if actually we could have a look at him and, um, you know, not just story wise, but also just gameplay wise, really experience it to the fullest. Okay. Okay. Can I place these on the tree? Wait, can I, can I? 
No, I can't. Okay, anyway. How about I decorate? How about I do... Okay, how about I do... Uh, I think I did popcorn and cranberries last time. So, once more, popcorn and cranberries. I wonder what actually works this time. Wait, they... It actually... It actually worked. Okay, how about we do the rest? Do some toppings. And I think ornaments is last and just get it done. No, is everything no okay. blue and white then? Am I I am not doing anything. Okay. How about lights then? Turn on this light. Okay. Okay, it's not the best, but <laughs> it'll have to do. I'm going to open a present. There was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies what the heck oh my god anyway um we feel happy about accomplishing this but <laughs> we also feel kind of sad because it was empty there was nothing in there wow that is that is sad that is just really sad i'm doing some cleaning because obviously that's the only thing i'm doing with my life like i don't even have my clothes on like i'm just in my pajamas because that's how sad this christmas day is I'm really thinking about inviting over Salem. I really miss him and I wonder what he's doing and maybe... I, you know what, I'm just going to send him a text and tell him like, Oh, I'm having such a great, such a great, you know, Christmas. What about you? Hmm? What about you? Are you having such a great one? Just kind of like pretend that we're not as sad as we are. They want to know. And I also feel like this is a perfect opportunity for her to kind of get back with Sila. Maybe, maybe sparks are going to fly. Maybe they're not. I agree, Cassie. It's a great day. Let's go out. So he actually invited us over to go out. Ow. Um, yeah, sure. So I actually managed to get myself dressed and here is Salem. Sorry my game is kind of laggy today, I don't know what's going on, I think it must be um my computer, I don't know, usually usually when something happens it's your computer anyway. <laughs> anyway, so okay this is awkward, I'm su Savannah you're supposed to be out with your dad, why are you ruining my storyline? Let's face the camera like this so it's just like she's not there. I'm really happy that Salem decided to invite me over and very quickly, I guess he figures out that I'm not having the best day and he gives me a hug to make me feel better. I'm like, Salem, how did you know I was not, you know, I was not having a good day. I was not doing anything today. Uh, how did you figure out I was lying? And he's like, I knew you. The way you just said, yes, let's go out seconds after she proposed it, I knew that your day was just going as great as mine and we're both kind of alone. I'm not doing anything for Christmas and I don't have anyone to spend it with and the one person I would love to spend it with, she's not here. Who could that special person be, right? Like, who is that Salem? Like, who are you, who are you, like, who are you wanting to spend Christmas with? I'm always trying to get them to sit down, but I don't know what it is with my sins. They just go everywhere. They don't do whatever you want them to do. Oh, actually, this is quite a pretty place, I guess. Cassie just really wanted to show him the ornaments on the fence and said, I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking about my own house. Like, what would it be like if I actually had a house of my own? So romantic, honestly. That looks so fucking romantic. Like, we need to go sit there. Cassie's just, I don't know. It's, it's past 8 p.m. And um, I guess we kind of missed the opportunity for Father Christmas to come, which I am kind of sad about. Where is he? Oh my god, Salem, did Salem leave me? Cassie's feeling a little uncomfortable, almost thinking like, did, did Salem just leave me? Like, did he ditch me? Is Are things going bad? But there he is, there he is. He just needed a little moment to um gather some courage. I give him a grow fruit because I don't really know what else to give him, but just pretend it's the best gift ever. Oh, he just feels, he looks like he's having a great time. And I'm honestly, I love these two together. I'm so sad that, you know, they're not a thing anymore. Aw, I hope you liked it. Belly laugh? What is that? What does belly laugh mean? <laughs> She's just pretending to be Father Christmas. Like, what are you doing? Oh my god. And he absolutely loves it. I really miss Salem and um, I really, really, really want us to get back together again. I, I just I just don't really know how to do it. 
And Salem was feeling the same way. Salem is feeling the same way. He's been thinking about Cassie and, and his day and just thinking like, how am I going to spend this day without the one person that I love and want to spend it with? It's been long enough kind of avoiding the subject. So I feel like we should just give it us, give it our all right now. Lay out all our insecurities on the table and just get back together. Like that's what we both want. And we're both just kind of just, just trying to avoid I did not make them kiss, I swear to you. We rejected his proposal, she's the one that wants to come and make things right and ask him to be his boyfriend or ask him to be her boyfriend. And I think that now she's probably ready for that step. She wasn't ready to get engaged, I was just going too quick for her and she was worried about all these little things that don't really matter in the end. And being away from Salem, it's a little late, but I still want to see if we can get Father Christmas to come out and nail this winter fest. So I am going to open this and hopefully um, we can still manage to get it good for this. But let's get the turkey out of the oven. We got we got the fireplace and now I just need to call to Grand Meal. Salem, come in Salem. Salem is a little hesitant. He's not been here for so long. He's, he's been, he's never been here. Why is my piano stuck? He's just, okay. He's never been here. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's been here. No, he's not. He's, he's never been here. I'm just like, why am I so confused about that? He's never been here. I think, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, my hamster died. <laughs> oh no. Well, that was unexpected. Oh my god, okay, let me. Okay. Do I not even get a tombstone? I don't get anything, it's just gone. Okay. Okay, that's very. So, I think one of the things that these two have to kind of talk about and make sure that we're on the same page is the whole point of marriage. And I think, if anything, Cassie is more. I feel like she's more thinking towards, you know, if he asks her again, he's go she's going to say yes. And not because she's changed her mind, because she's been convinced that actually she can have both work and a romantic life. And she really has been feeling a little like sad because there's not much romance but if she were to propose again she would say yes or maybe she would propose herself but one of the things she's been thinking of is actually moving in together and that would be like a step between marriage um and you know living separately she feels like that, that that's the step like in between that's something that they probably could do together that is not exactly super committing but it is like a halfway step to commitment which i think salem might like a lot and maybe maybe if they actually do end up living together they can buy the house or cassie can actually well i would say cassie can buy a house but they'll have to split the rent actually they would have to split the cost wouldn't they because if you buy a house you'll rent it whatever and the sims you can do anything <laughs> so they would probably you know split the house um but then what again what if it ends up badly again will they be able to make it through once again or are they going to not talk to each other for a year and be stuck in each other's house that would be very bad wouldn't it mm -mm, it would be very bad but at least for now they're back together and i wonder how long it's gonna last but let's not think about that too much let's just enjoy the time that we had together and prepare for the second day of winterfest which is tomorrow which is the day where everyone's gonna come together and we're gonna have so much fun hopefully anyway that is this part <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part bye, bye.